Seeing Mainers coming together to support asylum seekers is inspiring a former Army Ranger to help another needy segment of our population. Matt Hamill is trying to raise half a million dollars to provide more housing, clothing, and job assistance for homeless veterans and other people living on the streets. New Center's Vivian Lee reports from Augusta. Matt Hamill spent several tours on the front lines in Afghanistan and Iraq as a member of the Army's 82nd Airborne Division. But he struggled when he got out of the service and returned to Maine six years ago. You don't come home the same person and you come back expecting to be the same person before you left, which is one of the biggest hardships that veterans face. Hamill wants to ease that burden by tapping into the compassion and generosity of Mainers. More than $800,000 was raised in a matter of weeks to help Portland and other communities house and care for several hundred asylum seekers. The outpouring, though, triggered a mountain of negative comments on social media. Many urged government officials to take care of the homeless and veterans in Maine first. Hamill started a GoFundMe account to give people an opportunity to stop criticizing and start helping. Don't use the homeless or homeless veterans, you know, as a, you know, talking point on social media. Um, there's, you know, here's your chance to step up to the plate, basically. Now, Hamill has a list of organizations and agencies here in Maine that help homeless veterans that he's considering donating the funds to, including the Bread of Life Ministries. He spent several months at the shelter here, which he says helped him get back on his feet. The nonprofit runs a shelter to help the homeless and their families. If I didn't have the support of certain programs, I wouldn't have known what direction to go into. Programs that are desperately needed, especially for people like Lee Trahan. I feel like the disabled community is being pushed aside. 22 years ago, a car accident left Trahan paralyzed from the chest down. He's living with a friend while he waits for low-income housing. Because of the demand and limited apartments, that wait could take between two to ten years. And I understand we have an influx of, of immigrants and or asylum seekers. That's great. We, there, there's money to help them, but don't neglect the, the population that are already here trying to just survive and, 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 and maintain a basic quality of life. As for Hamill, his goal is to raise $500,000 and he's hopeful planting the seed of love for folks right here at home will be contagious. And I think it takes one person to be like, all right, I want to do better. I want to create change as well. In Augusta, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine.